Yo, what's up guys, Nandra here, and welcome to, I guess, the unofficial but official part 6 of my Take-Two series, explaining the deck. So, again, if you've watched the first five, if you've watched the first five videos, they should know that I got Take-Two with this deck. So, please note that's, that's 27 out of 30, It's only it only looks like that because I don't own any copies of Gunner Maid Syria, or... And I'm, I'm missing a third axis tray because I, I don't think that's that I don't I don't like that in constructed. Anyway, so so for, so the first thing that that will that add that will notice with the decks that has a lot of two drops. When you're playing, when you're playing draft, you want to try to draft as many two drops as possible. But obviously, you want them. You don't want you. you but obviously, you have to like take some take some consideration to to what the partner card to that, to that two drop is generally for me i like try, i like trying to get two drops and four drops at the same time just because your four drop slot is going to be your, is going to be your, your most like important slot well depending depending on, on what class you play like say for example i'm playing sword sword has a very very good four drop in, in that of geno but if i'm playing something like dragon then i'm going to try to want to aim my, my my ideal cards to to, to, to reflect that so so yeah, so you want to try to so you want to try to draft two drops, and then you want to try to draft whatever you want to try to you want to try to aim for where, wherever your wherever the class that you're drafting is ha has like their power slots. Like say for example, Shadow Shadow has a lot of like influential seven drops. They have like Thane, they have like Ektar, they have like Lord of the Flies, so on and so forth. Blood again, same thing. L lot lot of lot of influential seven drops. They have they have Matriarch, they have. What's it called? They have Matriarch, they have Emeralda, they have Brazen Demon, and, and a few other things. Whereas, like for Sword, Sword has good fours, fives, and sixes. So, so, so for there, you want to try to aim for a sort of like mid, sort for sort of like mid game strategy. Additionally, when you draft, you want to try to draft in such a way that you have they have like actual bombs in your deck they can like do stuff with. So in this case, for me, for for me, my bombs are that of. Axe Destroyer, Council of Card Knights. Well, Council of Card Knights is, is, is more is more of like a big game play, but they yeah, Axe Destroyer, Earthshock Ogre, Hero of Antiquity, and Bahamut. Those are those are my power cards. You don't want you like you want to you, you want to obviously have like a few of these, but you don't want to try to go too ham and just like overload it at the at the expense of your curve, because when you do that, you're gonna get overrun by more by more sensible stats like. Uh, slash reasonable decks so for here like you also notice that like that for the most part the majority of my deck is all is all like synergistic every, every everything kind of does something everything has a everything has a purpose the only two cards that i actually didn't like in my draft were that of the wise merman and the kiss of the princess i don't like kiss of the princess that much just because you only have so many neutrals to, to get with it I mean, obviously, like if if you get a, if you get a good kiss of the princess on three, you're gonna win that game. But look, uh, but look at my curve. I only have like I only have one neutral, well, two neutrals that I can play, but before that three drops. So, so it was one of those cards that like that I got, but I didn't really like. But I didn't really, you know, like want to have my draft. What else? What else can I talk about here? Uh, oh, additionally, when you play take two. You want to try to adopt a go wide strat, a go wide strategy, and then you want to try to, even if you have an option that, that that lets you put out one big dude in play, unless that big dude is you know ending the game, or is very very hard to cast. Like say for example, a Leonidas. Like if I have the option to play out, to play out a Leonidas, I'm probably gonna take it. Whereas if I have the option to play out either Hero of Antiquity or to get, or, or to play out two four drops. I'll go ahead and take the option to play out the, to play out the two four drops, just because if the eight drop in my hand can do something w without without you know without needing an evo, it's probably a better idea a better idea to just go ahead and, and go wide first and then and then have the follow up for, and then have the follow up for afterwards in order, in order to let my two big in order to let my two other my two previously played guys be able to you know go face or do or do whatever it is that they're gonna do. Additionally, you see here in my thing that I have a lot of things that make tokens. Making tokens is actually so strong in, in Take 2, just because if you, it, like I said in Game 4, or I think it was Game 3, if you can, if you can work your way to, to a position where, where you can like play out these, play out these token, uh, these token makers, 
towards towards the end of, of, of an Evo War, you're gonna be in a you're gonna be in a really really great spot because not a lot of people draft draft AOE and take two partially because there's not much AOE in most classes to begin with. Additionally, the only the only AOE that, that's like mass draftable is Explosion, which again not a lot of people draft for. I per, I personally like drafting for that, but hey, you know, not not everyone's like me. What else? Hmm. But yeah, like, like basically, when you play Take Two, it's kind of like playing. Mm, it's kind of like playing mid rangey decks. Like it, at least, at least that that's how I like to play it. You can either play it as like a draft bad, as you can try to like force bad aggro, or I usually try to force like slightly bad mid range, just because if i know how to like build a board and protect that board i'm gonna i'm gonna win that game if you don't know how to do that i mean obviously there there are some exceptions to this rule like say for example when you're playing haven because like when you're playing haven you also have the option of just of playing control because you because if you draft like you say an aegis or a seraph you just play the control 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 play seraph play aegis win because a lot of times not because not many people draft odin but obviously odin is something that you need to be wary of but by, by usually almost never see odin so but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I know that this was like a shorter video. I don't really know what what else I could really talk about. I kind of just did this on the spur of the moment, just because a lot of you guys did ask me for what was your deck list? How, how did you how did you get like you know your five wins or whatever? This was my fifth my fifth time getting five wins. So I've already so I've already done this like four times prior. I'll probably try to make a video of this each time I do it. I don't know if I'll do a full like five game series sort of thing like I did last time. I only did it last time just because. Um, I have a few sword main friends and I, I thought it'd be like interesting for them to like to, to like see it. I also thought it'd be interesting for you guys, the viewers, to see it as well. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, go and, go and drop a like, go and hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya!